Falk III of Anjou, called Falk Nera, was an early medieval count of Anjou, and was one of the first great builders of castles. He lived from 970 to 1040, constructed an estimated 100 castles and abbeys across the Loire Valley in today's France, fought successive wars with neighbours in Brittany, Blois, Poitou and Aquitaine and travelled four times to Jerusalem on pilgrimage during the course of his life. He had two wives and three children. He was a natural horseman and a fearsome warrior, with a keen sense of military strategy that saw him get the better of most of his opponents. He was allied with the goals and aims of the Capetians against the dissipated Carolingians of his era. With his county seat at Angers, Falk's bitter enemy was Eudes II of Blois, his neighbour 128 kilometres east along the Loire River, at Tours. The two men traded towns, followers and insults throughout their lives. Falk built his first castle at Langeres, 104 kilometers east of Angers, on the banks of the Loire, in 992. Like many of his constructions, it began as a wooden tower, and was eventually replaced with a stone structure, fortified with exterior walls, and equipped with a thick-walled tower called a donjon in French. He built it in the territory of Eudzai, Count of Blois, and they fought a battle over it in 994. But Eudzai died of a sudden illness, and his son and successor, Eudes II, did not manage to evict him. Fowl continued building more towers in a slow encirclement of Tours, Montbazon, Montresor, Mayabeau, Montrichard, Loches, and even the Tower of Montboyot, erected just across the Loire from Tours in 1016. He also fortified the castles at Angers, Amboise, Chateau Gontier, Chinon, Mayenne and Semblingi, among many others. The construction of castles for the purpose of extending a ruler's power was part of Falkner's strategy, wrote Peter Fraser Purton, in A History of Medieval Siege, 450-1220. Falk was also a devout Christian, and built, enlarged or endowed several abbeys and monasteries, such as the Abbey of Bully les Loches. St. Florent le Vaille, St. Aubin, and a convent, Notre Dame de la Charité at Ronceret in Angers. Although he never learned to write, he endowed the school with revenue to provide poor students with an education. Falk also undertook four pilgrimages to Jerusalem. Family He was the son of Geoffrey I of Anjou, also known as Geoffrey Grishaganel, and Adelaide of Amandois. He had an older sister. Hermengarde, who married Conan of Brittany and a younger brother Geoffrey, a half-brother, Maurice, was born in 980. Falk married Elizabeth de Vendôme, daughter of Count Bouchard of Vendôme, and they had a daughter. Adol married Baudon, son of Landry, Count of Nevers. Their eldest son, Bouchard, inherited Vendôme. Elizabeth's death was recounted in the Chronicles of St. Florent. Elizabeth occupied the citadel at Anger with some supporter and while under siege from Fowl, she suffered a fall from a great height, and then was burnt at the stake for adultery. Fowl married Hildegard de Sandgau, whose family was from Lorraine. Around December 1005, they had two children, Geoffroy, in 1006, who became known as Geoffroy Martel, succeeded Fowl as Count of Anjou in 1040. Ermengarde Blanche, around 1018. Geoffroy, who became known as Geoffroy Martel, succeeded Falk as Count of Anjou in 1040. Combat. Falkner's first victory was in June 992 at Battle of Conqueroy, where he managed to defeat Conan I, Duke of Brittany. Conan's territorial ambitions had been quashed by Geoffroy Grisganel in 980, and seven years later, he planned an ambush on Angers while Falk was at the crowning of Robert the Pious. Falk and his men foiled the ambush, killing Conan's son, Alan, in the process. In 992 Falk laid siege to Conan's castle at Nantes, but he slipped away to Conqueroy. 
Conan was killed in the battle, and Falk set up as governor a regent, as the succeeding count was a child. While Falk and Eudes II fought many skirmishes over territory and alliances, their biggest battle occurred in July 1016 at Battle of pont le Eudes was marching a large troop of 10,000 men southward toward Falk's tower at Montboyo when Falk and a much smaller group attacked him from behind. Falk's men were routed and retreated, and Eudes, thinking the battle won, went for a swim in the Cher River. Reinforcements arrived to help Falk, and they returned and slaughtered Eudes' men, who were then at rest. Several thousand were reported killed. Pilgrimages Falk also undertook four pilgrimages to Jerusalem, seeking forgiveness for his sins in at least two of the journeys. Falk Nera traveled to Jerusalem for his first pilgrimage in 1003, a few years after his wife Elizabeth's death but at a moment of calm along the route. The journey was across the Alps at the Grand Bernard Pass in today's Switzerland, overland to Bari in the southern Italian peninsula, by ship to the Holy Land. The travel took as long as six months, through deeply dangerous territory. Falk made a second pilgrimage in 1008, obliged to do so by the king as punishment after Falk ordered the murder of an enemy. For his third and fourth trips, Falk determined he had a moral obligation to protect pilgrims in the years following the desecration of Jerusalem by the Mad Caliph. So had his armed entourage provide security against robbers, murderers and enslavers along the route. His third trip was in 1035, with Robert I, Duke of Normandy, and then a fourth pilgrimage was made in 1038. He died in Metz in 1040 on his return from that trip, and was buried in the chapel of his monastery at Bewley. Succession Geoffroy Martel was Count of Anjou from 1040 to 1060, but had no children from either of two marriages. The Anjou title went to his nephews, the two sons of his sister Ermengarde Blanche. Geoffroy III Le Barbu was Count of Anjou from 1060 to 1098. Falx IV Le Reckon was Count from 1098 to 1109. Le Reckon's grandson, Geoffrey Plantagenet, married Matilda, heir to the English throne, and began the House of Plantagenet line of English kings.